Hello YouTube viewers welcome to my show camera tuesday in today's episode we're going to uh, answer the age old question which is a perfect camera basically well first you have to understand what the heck is a camera well it's just a tool it's basically an extension of you that allows you to do things that's all it matters because you are the first point because if you don't know what you're doing it does not matter whether you have a like you know high end pro camera or a gibberish camera you matter first however that being said if you are like let's say your uh, performance is x level x gets multiplied by the tool so if your tool is good like it does what you want it to do you will gain speed now why is speed important heck let's say you are talking about something simple let's say you are talking about a wedding you're not like you know uh, high octane uh, you know sports fight or something like that you're like simple wedding here's the moments of uh, you know uh, random uh, things will happen let's say a kid will randomly run to something else capturing that moment will literally make your album look like you know majestical because uh, hey it's much more richer many time many uh, photographers will avoid uh, shooting kids uh, because you know like, kids are random but if your camera can allow you to like you know hone it like in that split second it's like i got this this needs to be in photo framed you got this you going to have amazing people like people will flatter say hey this, this, these photos are amazing like and when they will see even though they may be like hey i want to focus on bright and room after years would have passed when they will open that frame book they're like oh nice oh i did not realize you know this kids and once the this grid uh, will grow up and they're like hey i used to look to like this so these are small moments and every photography you will do these moments will happen so if your camera allows you to capture it you good you got the speed now what happens if your camera is not up to the task let's say uh, you took a medium format camera to a wedding most medium format camera takes very long to start up sometimes their start up time can be as long as 30 second what does that mean that simply means if you change out the battery again they drain battery battery also very quickly you have to wait 30 second what could happen in that 30 second could be a lot now you might be like hey uh, full frame cameras still take uh, 10 seconds 10 second versus uh, 30 second gives you 20 second window where you can capture things that is very critical because bad tool will simply miss you will simply miss and photography is all about that moment you are capturing the slice of time that is the whole critical aspect of it so if you have a tool that suits you if you have a photographer that is good enough you're going to have masterpiece that's the reality of it and many times people are like a oh, uh, camera does not matter no it definitely matters if it does not matter you would not be like like let's say fuji film photographers will say oh you know camera does not matter i can do everything with my fuji why are you saying fuji why are you saying that exact camera or let's say you have a camera and you are experienced like 30 years you should be able to smoke someone's ass who's like you know 5 uh, months uh, or like you know just started photography you should be able to do that if you cannot do that that simply means you did not improve your photography so with the, and that is the reason why when you see photographers like from national geography why do have they have giant lenses because they don't have the luxury of time if they want to capture that decisive moment they got to do it and they got to do it now they don't have the luxury of time so that is the reality of it camera is a tool now if you are fixed let's say you are x variable and you you are not going to change a better tool will still improve your performance why because again it will not hinder you it's like boom done capture everything happens so that's the whole point so whoever is talking about like you know camera does not a camera matters absolutely it matters so that is the one thing that differentiates you from a mobile pixel shooter like tuk 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 versus you know who's taking his time composing aligning and all it has to be done in a split second so camera matters again it's not more important than the photographer but photographer plus good camera equals masterpiece so why do you want to buy a new camera if you are watching this video there is a very good chance you want to buy a new camera now there are few things that could have happened first of all your old one could have failed captain fire broke the lens mount physically destroyed the camera things happen all stolen surprisingly uh, that's happening a lot so again okay, one of these went you have to buy a new camera you cannot uh, you know postpone it second this is a bit uh, murky waters is basically you think you need a new tech now this is one thing that uh, I'm, i have to respect uh, tony nutter because he has that passion of like you know new tech he, he's a nerd basically he's a nerd he likes the number he likes to, his gears works on the fact of like you know technical complexities and all that he enjoys that heck i enjoy that to myself so after good doing like you know years of 4k is like yeah it doesn't matter why because every tom dick and harry watch as in mobile phone and mobile phone even though your mobile could have like you know 4k screen in case of sony uh, your data provider will be like bra i'm only giving you gigabytes heck I, if i'm not mistaken americans still have like you know 2 3 gigabyte a month in india you are like around 2 gigabyte a day minimum so you could have a scenario where you know your extra detail is not actually doing anything 
and this can is the easiest way to find it out is like take a normal camera like let's say 24 megapixel full frame and take a like you know 48 megapixel or 60 megapixel camera and you take a photo of a newspaper or something that has like you know fine text uh, basically something like a manual or something like that you take a photo of that and you'll see how uh, messy the results output will be your file size would be like you know eight times bigger but your details the details that you can say no this is a extra detail would be like barely 10 20 percent this is what happens if you chase tech rather than the output if you chase the tech hey 4k versus like you know uh, 6.5k you may have a scenario where it's like you know yeah it's 6k is just like you know if you push shadows too much if you do this too much and you're like maybe you get something out of it so that's the reality of it and that is the reason why most cinema cameras are still like you know conservatively in terms of resolution re took way long to go into 4k so it happens the reality happens like if you are chasing tech do it for your own reason like if you are a head nerd if you really enjoy those sort of thing uh, go ahead you know enjoy it but be mindful of that do not think like oh going from like in you know, 36 megapixel to 48 megapixel will like you know yolo your uh, images it will add improvement absolutely but not too much then the most horrifying reason why you are buying a new camera is you are not happy now this is very dangerous because this has direct tendency to lead you to be unsatisfied no matter what you buy why simply because the first time you did not did your research now why did you not do this most of the people have this tendency it's like hey dude this is my budget tell me which camera to buy if you are one of those you will be miserable no matter which camera you buy because a camera is a tool which suits you think of it this way if i tell you which shoe to buy will you buy it no you'll like dude i have to go there i have to go to a shop fit it if it works then i'm gonna buy it camera is like that exactly like that think of it this way uh, you are just a vlogger you just chill out in life you don't have like you know photography is not your uh, what you say bread and butter you're like i got this uh, i just want to do shoot photography in those scenarios somebody may like you know push you to like hey buy canon 1xd mark 3 with this lens everything is awesome the most amazing output you're gonna get or or out of a camera is possible on that you bought it his deal is too damn heavy and you're not touching that again so because it did not suit you. But again, you give someone, let's say, a Fujifilm, like, you know, Fujifilm less to an Olympic shooter, they'll be like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? So that's the reality. It must suit you. So please, do, uh, if you are buying a new camera and if you are unhappy with your old one, please examine that aspect first. Why the heck you are unhappy? Now, again, it could be unhappy because, like, company tricked you or, uh, like, you know, you bought Samsung mirrorless system and you thought, like, you know, Samsung is going to be around. Samsung is like, YOLO, bro, I'm out. Or Nikon 1-inch, my brother did bought that. 1-inch uh, mirrorless system, YOLO, Nikon is like, YOLO. So that could be a, a justifiable reason. But, again, if you are unhappy overall, be mindful of that. Sit down, analyze that decision first. So Because you will be unsatisfied no matter what you buy after that. Now, what a camera should do? So far, two things are super easy. Take your budget, put it in Amazon. Amazon will select body only and you'll get whatever you need to buy. Now, what the heck you're gonna buy? You're still gonna have at least four or five options. What the hell you have to buy? This is super easy, surprisingly easy. You have to divide your needs in primary and secondary. Now, what does primary mean? Primary means your bread and butter. Like, let's say you're a sports photographer, speed, ease of the paramount. Second, good lenses. Third, telephoto, fast focusing lenses. These are your criteria. Your camera, whichever you're buying, it must have those things. And that is why you will rarely see micro four thirds, rarely or any micro four thirds system in an Olympic shootouts. You're not gonna see that because that does not meet the primary requirement. It could do it, it's just not good enough. So you take your primary or you're like, hey, uh, you're doing your, like, you know, object photography where you're like uh, cakes, uh, Rolex, things of that nature. You're taking object photography. You have the luxury of time. Go for resolution. Go for your amounts of resolution. Go for 63 resol uh, 62 megapixel if you can afford it. That's the reality. Your primary must be covered first. That's the first thing. This must be do. Like, and if you're like, let's say vlogger, this must have flip out screen. And this must have good video out of this. Primary must analyze that. Like, what is your primary requirement? Find that out and analyze that. Like, does this camera offer me what I want? If yes, awesome. Like, uh, let's say you want to do long form vlogging, most camera will be out simply because most camera have 30 minute video recording limit. But if you want to do long vlogging, you have to have a camera that is like, you know, Sony A7 uh, R4 or Sony A9 Mark II. It's simply because only those two cameras, as far as I know, have unlimited uh, video. Or Panasonic also has that. Panasonic does not have lens selection, so I cannot offer that. 
so that's the primary then we come to secondary now these things are something that will help uh, you boost your performance boost your productivity so uh, this is something that uh, one of my f- uh, friend told me that their colleagues are doing is that simply when they are going into wedding especially in a christian wedding they have churches and all that they have like two three photographers and they are uh, hammering away all the photos and all that jazz but there is one guy whose sole job is sit on a laptop have a giant uh, wi-fi hotspot and the, all the file is directly transferred while it's being taken like a tick 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 file is going directly into that wi-fi hotspots you Using FTP file transfer protocol and he's editing on the spot now you're like why is such a rush people every time they can hurry once it like you know instantly for Instagram so again these are secondary things you're not gonna die without it but if you have it that gives you an edge a competitive edge on top of that in some scenarios it could be just a simple simplicity edge like let's say uh, your camera is USB-C and USB-C power capable so you can charge your camera with the same adapter that you carry for your mobile phone and you're doing like you know just chilling on a family trip that's amazing you don't have to carry a battery Creator, you don't have to worry about that. Awesome. So these are secondary things. Now again, your secondary list, list would be huge. It will be like you know I want to do this and that and all that. But again, buy a camera that can handle some of it, not everything, because your secondary list would be like huge. You don't want that. Now then we come to the interesting aspect. This is the place where most beginners make the mistake. You have to uh, you know think about the room of growth. Basically, how far can you push this? Like let's say you invested in it, how far can you push it? And every camera has a limitation like this. And this is the reason why full frame have survived for 150 years. Yes, it's that old. So because full frame, more lenses are available, people buy more camera. More cameras are sold, more third party full frames are And seeing on those like, you know, cheaper third party lenses, more people buy full frame cameras because they can now put cheap third party lenses and even more cameras are made. So it's a self-fulfilling cycle. And that is why as of now, when I'm making this video flat out, I can be damn sure full frame is here to stay and everything else is just okay it's like it's not bad it's just oh okay you know like okay and that is the reason the uh, you know super 35 is said in for cinema industry what does that mean super 35 it simply means instead of like this you rotated your film roll like this for uh, you know easier spooling and again it allows you to put more frames side effect it becomes size of a APS-C sensor so that's the reality of it like if you buy full frame for a professional shoot like your bread and butter coming from there that has the largest room of growth growth generally comes from lenses and once you start to actually invest in lenses and all that jazz you will reach a point where you're like yeah my camera body is cheap my lenses like keep my lenses so and other aspects also you have to think about does this have camera uh, company have enough spare battery available basically let's say your camera has a battery can you buy that battery outside can you buy a battery charger that is different let's say you want you are using canon and canon does not have what you call a usb charging normal usb charging it has some tigram hoo-ha charging but normal usb where you just plug it does not work okay can you buy a basically third party battery cradle which allows you to use usb charge that yes awesome these are things what we call room for growth basically you bought this now you want to push it like uh, for my canon camera uh, once i get my payment uh, i'll buy a remote control because it will help me shoot video much more quickly efficiently so those are room from growth it is also important because this is the first thing you will do after buying it like and that is the reason why even something as high-end canon eos 1dx mark 3 has a wi-fi extender you can buy a wi-fi extender which allows you 5 gigahertz uh, capabilities so these are the primary like what do you want to do have to do then secondary things like you know good to have and then can you expand on it and the moment i touch can you expand on it the camera company that goes out is like micro four third it just evaporates from there now even with all this, there is a good chance you may have a scenario where you are stuck between Sony and Canon. Uh, let's let's not talk about Nikon. So how do you decide? Now here's the, this is one good thing that government regulation did is that make a damn manual. Now, every detail of a product has to be in manual. It's required by the law. So manual has details, hidden details that you will never even think about it. Think of it this way. Uh, it has my, uh, you know, full SD card. What is the maximum size of SD card it can accept? It's never shown on the basically website, but you can read the manual and I can guarantee it, it will be there. Somewhere it will say, heck, there is a very good chance you may even have uh, certain things where you can be like, hey, which, um, you know, which is what we call qualified vendor list. Basically, they mis- must have like, let's say Canon. Canon will test it out. Hey, uh, buy, you know, Lexar, this memory card. Buy SanDisk, this memory card. There is a qualified vendor list. If you buy those cards, you can be damn sure that it's going to work and it's going to work reliably because those are tested equipment. Again, it's not necessary you may buy some uh, other company which is not tested it may work flawlessly let's say samsung's are rarely tested with these things it could work but it, sometimes it could throw up an error especially with buffer so again all these sort of nitty-gritty details are in your manual now the lovely part about manual it's free 
you can have this before you buy a camera this is the one saving grace of our modern uh, you know competitive reality and internet is that you can have the manual before you buy the camera spend time here, like do the hard work if you do this hard work i can guarantee it if you buy a camera and even tomorrow like something new comes out the only thing you will be frustrated about ah, i should have waited nothing more than that you won't be like uh like you know somebody like you know talk to you some sweet uh, nonsense into your ear and you'll be like yeah you're true like you know i should have bought that no if you go through the manual and like spend some time with it barely will take you three or four hours barely and you are talking about like you know uh, $2,000 level investment yeah one or two hours or one whole day it's again do it just just do it just read the damn manual every little detail would be there and there are many uh, you know gachas now those gachas are only found in manual it's like you know oh if you activate the HDMI output it will uh, you know do a crop I'm like what the hell where was that in the manual so company is like you know legally free it's like they are trolling you but again to make sure that you don't get trolled read the damn manual it's free available and uh, there is a very good chance if uh, the manual basically is available in pfd for uh, in the formats you can select the text uh, you use application like you know text to speech so you don't even have to you know strain your eyes reading all of that you can just convert text to speech i have clip speak on uh, my computer and that's how i read all the manuals so quickly so trust me manual is your best friend no other individual can give you the exact detail of the exact model just read the damn manual and it's a necessary thing because think of it this way like how pissed off you will be if you messed up a, your camera selection because it's a system you cannot just like oh i should have thought that through oh i thought like you know streaming is a thing and i could do streaming with every camera then i realized like you know this camera has a ui that is shown into hdmi again those little things read the manual so this was my presentation on which is the perfect camera and i hope so far it's clear to now it's like the perfect camera is that takes care of your primary and handles a little bit of secondary and has a room to grow and it that fits you exactly you and if you like something this harsh this brutal uh again like it share it amongst your friend that will help me a lot if you didn't like it didn't enjoy it i'd urge you to press dislike press it twice to show me your extra disappointment and please leave a comment because i try to reply to all of them subscribe Press the bell icon if you're free and as always, thanks for watching.